UNLV football is back home at Allegiant Stadium on Saturday, getting ready for a 7.30 p.m. kickoff against San Diego State. Rebels are coming off a big road win in Hawaii, bringing the golden pineapple back to Las Vegas. Fox 5 Sports reporter Paloma Villacana was in Hawaii with the team this week and is witnessing another historic football season with head coach Barry Odom. Paloma. Yeah, that's right. It's been another magical season for UNLV football, improving to 5-0 on the road for the first time in program history. The Rebels' road win streak now extends to seven wins, the most road wins in UNLV history in the streak. But the Rebels are ready to see another record crowd at Allegiant Stadium tomorrow night. Like we mentioned, the Golden Pineapple is back in Las Vegas. This was UNLV's first win in Honolulu since 2016. The Rebels have three conference games remaining on their schedule, San Diego State, San Jose State, and wrap-up conference play against UNR Thanksgiving week. Head coach Barry Odom takes a lot of pride in defending the trophies he has here in Las Vegas, the Golden Pineapple, and the Fremont Cannon, but the Rebels want to add one more, a Mountain West championship. So the biggest word right now is around the facility is finishing. You know, around this time last year, I feel like, you know, we didn't finish right. Um, the fin we didn't finish the way we wanted to. So right now we just, you know, focus on the little things, the habits, um, continue to, you know, take care of our small things, um, the things that will help us win games. So right now we're, we're just focusing on finishing. Ricky White, one of the best receivers in the nation. He has now blocked four punts this season. And the last time the Rebels were at Allegiant Stadium, they played in front of a program record 44,228 fans against Boise State. Coach Odom has created an entertaining college football atmosphere here in Las Vegas. And the Rebels look to go 1-0 tomorrow night against San Diego State. Be sure to tune into the Reb Zone this Sunday for all your latest UNLV news.